case, I'm sharing from Artisjet. You know, one of the street is that the installation process for Artisjet printers is now incredibly fast and super easy after the system upgrades. And this 3000U Pro has just rolled out the production line, both tested and ready to be shipped. And I have just intercepted, you no, know, borrowed it for just a few moments. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk through the installation process and see if it's really as simple as advertised. Sounds exciting? Let's get to it before the DHL arrives. But before we do anything else, let's make sure the printer is placed safely on a flat and stable surface. Remove the protective tapes. Insert the power cable. Turn the emergency button clockwise to make sure that it's disengaged. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Turn the printer on. After pressing the power button, the printer starts initializing until we see printer ready on the panel. But before we dive straight into installation, let's check the mechanical system first. Move the platform forward, backward, up and down by pressing the respective arrow keys. Try the automatic height measurement with the auto position button. Perfect, moving on. Next, connect the printer and the computer with the USB cable and insert the USB dongle. Download and install Artisjet workstation. Here comes the centerpiece of the installation process, ink, the lifeblood of printing. First, turn the printer off. Then remove the dummy cartridges. Insert ink cartridges slowly and carefully into each slot. It's critical to match the color labels of the cartridges and the slots. Note that the V-slots are for varnish. If you don't use varnish, you can insert white ink into V-slots, as I'm doing now. Turn the printer back on. In the workstation, locate and click Ink Charging for Install. This will take about 10 minutes. After its completion, the head cleaning is required to wrap up the installation process. But how do we know if the ink system is functioning properly? The most visually direct way is through a nozzle check. Place a piece of clean material on the platform like so. Do an automatic height measurement. In the workstation, navigate to and click nozzle check. The printer will print 8 lines of full stream ink. We then check for any imperfections. If there are broken lines, the head cleaning or ink charging usually does the trick. If there isn't, as we are seeing now, the ink system is in tip-top shape. At this point, I know you are excited and eager to put this into work. However, before we fully unleash the power of this printer, let's take a test drive and see how well it performs. For this dry run, we can print on the multi mat, which is a versatile piece of material to be laid on the platform. It's solid, it's flexible, and a little sticky, so that items can be placed safely on top. Before using the multi mat, remove the protective films on both sides. Stretch it out on the platform, like so, and let the printer do a height adjustment by pressing Auto position. Conveniently, the newly installed workstation comes with a printing job already set up. We'll use that as a sample. We then go ahead with the sample printing. Look at that! The print came out beautifully, which means what? That's right, the printer has been successfully installed, ready to make a splash and make you some serious cash. Unfortunately, this multi mat is now covered in print and no longer usable. Hello, we need another one of these. Pronto. Just kidding. We can use stack tape to lift the print off the multi mat so that it can be used over and over again. Well, that's all there is to it. I gotta go pack things up before the shipping department gets suspicious. And as always, check out our YouTube channel to learn more about Artist Jet. See you next time. Bye.